Hello again, this is Joe Moore with Native American Tea Company, and today I'm here with Terry Ives, featured in both Field and Stream and ESPN. Terry, how are you today? I'm doing great, Joe. Thank you. Fantastic. Terry, I was hoping you could tell us a little today about the brown otter conca hunt and what, what a typical day is like out on the hunt. Okay, yeah, it, it, we make it a long day and it's kind of an interesting one, but typically we pick you up about seven o'clock in the morning in Mulbridge, uh, wherever you're staying, whether it be the, the motel or the casino or wherever we have. And it's roughly an hour's drive. It's about 50 miles out to Ron's ranch. Uh, so we get out there about eight o'clock and we sit down with Ron, uh, Ron Brown Otter and talk with him for a little bit. And he explains what the whole buffalo thing is all about and what we can shoot and what we can't shoot. And then we head out in the field. And usually we head out in the pickup truck. We'll take a ride and find a few of these pods of these these uh, bulls. The bulls typically stay together in small pods of anywhere from two to maybe four. On occasion, we'll even see four or five together. And if we see a bull in there that we like, we'll glass them from a distance, uh, usually uh, half a mile, sometimes a little bit closer. Then we'll get an idea of colors and the size of the horn and the size of the critter itself and the, the bison and all of that kind of thing. If we find one that we like, we try to get in a little bit closer with the truck. I try to get in within roughly a quarter of a mile or so, and then we'll get out of the truck and do our, our stock. The land is kind of rolling. It's it's on the base of the foothills of the of the badlands, so the land itself is getting a little bit rolling, and we can usually find a ravine, kind of make our stock on. Uh, hopefully they'll be up on top. We have the Grand River that runs right through the center of the property, and there's lots and lots of big, deep draws. And at times they're in those down in those big, deep draws. The problem down there is if we shoot one of these 2,000-pound animals, we can't get them out. So we've got to bring them up on the top somehow. So if we do have them all down below, we may move them up on top and see what stops and waits. Typically they don't wait for us very long. Um, but again, we'll do our crawl again from about a quarter of a mile out. We'll do our stock on them, try to get into a ravine. And I'd like to get my hunters within 150 yards. That's my goal. If I can get you within 150, we're kind of up close and personal. It's pretty neat when you see this 1,500, 2,000 pound or better, uh, bison standing there, uh, either broadside or facing you. If they spot you, they turn and they face you and they'll face you down. So it kind of gets to be a little bit of a touchy situation. It's, uh, you never know what they're going to do. Bison sometimes will stand there, and other times they'll come at you, and then there's other times they'll turn and run, and you just never know what's going to happen. So I always back up all my hunters myself. I carry a rifle, and uh, just in case something goes awry here on this hunt, the 150 yards is pretty close. These critters can run 35 miles an hour and from 0 to 35. They're there like right now. So we've got to be ready. And we'll take our shot if we can get in again within 150 yards. Typical gun we use is anything from about a 308 on up. I like to see them a little larger caliber. The bigger the caliber, the better. We've only had one person so far that used a 338 to take one down in one shot. Typically, it takes more than one shot to bring one down. Uh, and they'll run off into a distance a ways. They'll go down to their knees. They'll stand there for a bit and then hopefully they'll expire quickly. And that's kind of our goal as well. So after we shoot them, uh, Ron is usually behind us with a flatbed pickup truck, uh, and he'll come out with the pickup, and we hydraulically lift them onto the back of this truck, and we haul them to his ranch. And at the ranch, we take a big front-end loader tractor, reload them on the back of the truck, and head for Mobridge Bridge to have them processed from top to bottom. And the processing, they take the hide, the head, uh, everything is custom cut, packaged to your sizes, the whole works. It usually takes one day to get that done. The hides can be tanned. The heads can be either mounted, full mount, skull mounts, whatever we like. We'll help you out with that as well. That's pretty much a typical hunt of the day of the, of the ranch.